Hey guys, let's talk about the UFI activity zone setup. Sometimes this is confusing because at first there is no activity zone, not a specific activity zone, right? But the activity zone here is the entire area at first, right? So let me just explain what I mean. So you see here that I have no event, zero event, because I already checked all of them. But if I click here, you see that I have motion detection and also vehicle detection and the camera is working with the entire area, all right? So see here, detected by local AI, because when I come back here to the setup, when I click here on the three dots and here in the gear icon, I have the motion detection menu. And here you see the motion detection, it's enabled and it's detecting human vehicle and all other motions, which means when I move the camera, for example, it detects and starts recording. When somebody is in front of the camera, it's a human detection and vehicles passing by, you guess it, vehicle detection, of course. And here we can adjust the sensitivity in AI tracking. If somebody's moving in front of the camera, the camera can track with the movement, pan and tilt. But basically activity zone here, when I click it, you see there's the explanation. You have the blue area in a green area. So if you set up those areas, the camera is going to detect only when there's motion there or some activity there, right? At first there is no uh, activity zone set up. Let me just put it that way. You see that it's moving here to a preset. There's some information here on how it works. And you see here, that I have the cars passing by, the, the car the car stopped there, for example, this one is moving. So basically the camera can detect based on the AI, seeing that this is a car moving there, right? And the entire area is being monitored, right? So if I come here, I can click and select a specific area. Right now I have this area here that I can just start playing with this and moving around, okay? So now I'm going to monitor only this area and I can have a second one. So just save here, I can have a second one, which is the green one, right? And I can do the same if I want to. So sometimes this is a little bit confusing because if you just put this area here, it's not going to work when there is some motion in this area, for example. Okay, so the way it works better for me in this case is not using any specific area, any specific activity zone. So I just delete them. Let me just delete this one as well. And I work like this. So it's basically detecting for me everything in this area, right? And let me just come back here so you can check the alarms again, the events again. Here we go, main screen here. There we go, events. And you see that it takes a while to load and bring the new events here, right? But there we go, I have vehicles. And it's detecting the vehicles yet. And here I have another one. Even if I don't have any specific area there for the activity zones, right? It's considering the entire area. So don't worry. Oh, you don't need to, uh, it's not mandatory to set up a specific area because the camera can work with the entire area at first, right? So I hope this helps. Now you know how the UFI activity zone setup works. And I hope you like this video. Please just subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.